Today we are talking about the pen tool, and with some simple exercises, you will master it in no time. What is going on guys, Shooting Dave here, so good to see your faces, welcome back to the channel. Now if you're new here and you don't know what I'm about, I am at Shooting Dave, a photographer from London that now lives here in Los Angeles and I make photo and video editing tutorials. So sounds like something of interest to you, then please do consider subscribing. So what does the pen tool have to do with photographing cars, I hear you ask. Oh my sweet child, the pen tool is just about the most important retouching tool in your arsenal. So what do I use the pen tool for? Well, just about everything inside of Photoshop. You see, I use it for masking in layers. I use it for masking in groups. I also use it for masking adjustment layers when I'm making those fine tuned adjustments to my images. You see, it has a bunch of different uses and it's super helpful for refining your retouching skills. I use a Wacom tablet for this. Um, you don't have to use one yourself. I just love it. It's an amazing piece of kit. It makes drawing those curves much easier. You can, of course, use a mouse or a trackpad, but I prefer the Wacom tablet. And if you want to pick one up, I'll leave a link down in the description for you guys to check out. So to get you started, let's look at some basic practices to get you up to speed. Let's jump inside Photoshop and I'll walk you through it. Okay, so inside Photoshop, I'm going to show you the basics. Now we're just going to draw around a square. It can really be any shape you want, but a square will at least help me explain the fundamentals of the pen tool. You see, the pen tool works by drawing points and then connecting a line in between it. So if you don't know what the pen tool is on Photoshop, just press P on your keyboard and it will bring it up for you. So first things first, we're going to zoom in a little bit so this square is a little bit larger inside the frame. And all you do is going to click top left point and then the top right point and that will draw a line in between. So if we do that now, top left, top right, there we go. We've got a path between these two points and you come down to the bottom right and bottom left and then back towards the top. Now you'll notice as you hover over the first point, you'll get this little circle show up around the pen tool. Now that's what we want. That means it's going to close it. So once you've closed it, we've got a path and that is fully finished. However, if you're not happy with how it looks and it's a little bit inaccurate and you want to tidy up some of those points, you can do that. Just simply hold down command and control and then click the path and then you can hover over any of the points and you hold down command and control again and you can move these points and you can adjust them to your heart as desired until you've got that nice accurate path. And that is the basics of the pen tool. Pretty simple, right? Well, let's spice it up a little bit. Let's get a little bit more complicated. What if it's a curve? You don't want to be adding a thousand different points all the way around it. That's not good fun for you and it's not good for Photoshop and you won't get a smooth path across it. So let's look at that now. Okay, so next up we now have a circle. So how many points do you think it will take to get around the circle? 100? 10? 50? 1000? No, you're all wrong. It's four. That's right, with curve pass, you can actually get four points around a circle and make a complete selection. So let's have a look at that right now. So first of all, we're gonna start at the top of the circle here. I'm gonna click and hold and then drag it out. And you can hold shift if you want, and this will make sure the handles are straight. If you let go, they can move, but if you hold it, they're straight. And you wanna drag it out until it kind of fills up both sides of, um, of the circle. Then we're gonna come down to the center point on here, click and drag. And we'll drag a path like that and do the same for the bottom. Click and drag it out and do it for this side. Click and drag it out and back to the top. Now, I know what you're saying. Shooting Dave, those paths don't line up with that circle. But don't worry, we can adjust it again like I did in the last one. So command click. We're not gonna be adding or removing any points here. What we're gonna do is play with these handles up here. So we're gonna hold down command and then drag it and it sort of line it back up there so we want it to be about here and now they've got a problem area this one so we're going to command and click on this one and we're going to drag this handle out and you can keep on adjusting this until you get a perfect path so move it back a bit move this one out more i'll we'll do this one down here and then this one and we'll command and click on this one bring that in Bring this one in. And there you have it. That's how you draw a circle using the pen tool and paths. By clicking and dragging, you create a bezier curve, which means that you can control the tangency on that curve, adjusting how wild the curve is. There's a couple of other things you can do with that, and we'll get into that just now. 
Now, if you're struggling with any of that, the key here is to practice and practice and practice some more until you're totally comfortable with drawing those basic shapes, because that will basically be the fundamentals for any path going forwards. Okay, so now we've drawn a square and we've drawn a circle. Let's talk about how you might add or remove points along a path. Now, it's pretty simple. Make sure your path is selected by command clicking on it, either command or control, depending on Mac or PC. So I've got this path selected and let's say that we wanted to remove uh, this top right hand point up here now if you hover over it you see a minus sign turn up now if you click that that point is now gone let's say you want to add that point back in you see oh, if you hover over the line you see that plus symbol turn up if you click that we've now added another point now you might notice it's got these handles on it so that means when we move it that's actually now a curve which is pretty cool in most instances because you do want to work with curves generally. But say you are drawing around something like a rectangle or a square and you've got a sharp edge and you don't want a curve. So there's a couple of things you could do. You could try reducing the bezier handles so that they're really, really close together. And that means it's going to be a much sharper angle than when they're wide. However, there is a much better way to do it. If you hold down Alt or Option on your keyboard and then hover over that control point, you'll notice a little angle symbol turns up. So if you now click that control point, it turns it back into a hard edge so if you get curves in here which are undesirable and you want to turn that into an edge just hold down alt or option and click again and it makes a point so that way you can manipulate the points you've added and make them sharp or if you want to add more points you can make it nice and smooth so that's the basics of making paths okay so now you've mastered the basics of drawing out paths and drawing curves but what if you want to convert those paths into selections to make masks out of well that is actually quite simple and we're going to walk you through how to do that right now so inside of photoshop what you want to do is come down to where it says layers and we're going to come all the way over to paths you're going to click that and you see this path one that is the path you drew now if you want to keep this double click on it and give it a name so we're going to say amazing car because that is what the cars look like hit enter and now we've got that path so now you can create another one and if you want to draw out the windows you could put it in there but we're going to come back to this car path here now to make this a mask you want to go back to your layers uh, we're going to come up to layer one here make sure you've got the pen tool selected and then you're going to command click to select the path and if you hold down command and shift you can select multiple paths at the same time so then we've got the car and the wheels selected so what you want to do now is right click and go make selection now this is going to give you an option here of whether you want to feather your radius i typically give it a 0.8 pixel feather because that's how it works with my 5d mark 3 i find it the perfect amount without looking too sharp and too blurry it's up to you what values you use you don't have to use any at all if you don't want to anyway I digress let's click OK and now we have some marching ants from that you can just go down and hit your layer mask tool and it will add a layer mask on and we can see that here so if we were to fill this layer now with a color you can see it's only doing the areas that are masked, in which case it's an amazing car that I drew earlier. So that's how you convert paths into layer masks. It's pretty simple. And with a bit of practice and once you've mastered the art of using the pen tool, you can create images like this. And that is all for me guys, thank you so much for watching. Now if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you've got any comments or questions, let me know down in the comments section below. And if you haven't already, please do subscribe and follow me on Instagram. I am at Dave, and I shall see you in the next one. See ya.